The latest BBC Sport update. Wasps head coach Lee Blackett says 11 players from his squad are unavailable for selection for their Premiership final against Exeter. Those players have either tested positive for coronavirus or have been in close contact with someone who's tested positive. Of those 11, Blackett says four would have probably been in the match day 23. Now, after the latest round of testing, it has been confirmed that Wasps will play. Exeter director of rugby Rob Baxter says despite all the drama leading up to Saturday's match, it shouldn't affect how teams perform. I think there's always two schools of thought. Is is rest better than running on three? I think it's probably relatively even. And it's a bit, a little bit like anything. It, it always seems to be whichever, whichever team win, you think they've had the better preparation. But a lot of the time, it doesn't really come down to that. A lot of the time, it, just, it does come down to who turns up and who's ready on the day. Meanwhile, Wales captain Alan Wynne-Jones could reach a huge milestone in international rugby this weekend. He could equal Richie McCaw's world record of 148 caps when he faces France in Paris on Saturday. Football and Everton boss Carlo Ancelotti says they're all sorry for Virgil van Dijk's injury in the Merseyside derby, but the tackle by Jordan Pickford was not premeditated. The Liverpool defender could be out for the rest of the season with a knee injury after coming off at Goodison. Ancelotti says Pickford will probably miss this Sunday's game against Southampton as will James Rodriguez, who also clashed with Van Dijk during the derby match. Tonight, the Europa League returns and Neil Lennon's Celtic go up against the unbeaten Serie A leaders AC Milan. Celtic are second in the Scottish Premiership after their recent loss in the Old Firm derby and the manager says they've got to improve. I don't think the performances you know, have been really up to the level that we're capable of and you know, I'm hoping that's going to be turned around as we go along. I think we can be more purposeful you know, and more penetrating with our play than we were on, on Saturday and in some of the previous games as well. Well, Celtic against Milan is our commentary game tonight. We'll also have updates from Spurs, Leicester, Rangers and Ireland's Dundalk, all in five live sport from seven. Also Arsenal's game away at Rapid Vienna, where they'll have the good fortune to play in front of some fans, something boss Mikel Arteta is really looking forward to. Oh, I think it's going to be really nice. It's going to be a strange but. Uh, Finally, we're going to have some people uh, watching us that is not just the people working uh, around us on a daily basis. So it's an experience. Let's see how we feel it. But I think it's uh, a very positive thing. A bit of sad news from football. Gordon Astle, who is the oldest living England international, has died at the age of 93. Astle, who played for Plymouth, Birmingham and Torquay, won two caps, scoring on his debut in 1956 against Finland before featuring against West Germany six days later. Formula One team Racing Point say they can't do any more to protect against coronavirus, despite driver Lance Stroll being confirmed positive after the Eiffel Grand Prix, where he wasn't tested. Stroll didn't race there because he was unwell. England's Laurie Cunter leads by four shots at the Italian Open Golf. He's 12 under after his first round. And Britain's Cameron Norrie has been knocked out in the last 16 of the ATP event in Antwerp. He was beaten in straight sets by Canada's Milos Raonic. That's the latest from BBC Sport. BBC Sport.